<laughs> you were wandering around earlier when I. Uh, yeah. what, what were you doing out here earlier? I had never been in the in this uh, studio before, so I just kind of want to see Get what the it was land like. The land? Yeah, see yeah. what the space was like. So That's it wasn't a, good, a shock when I came out. That's a good idea. Yeah, I, I don't like to trip over too many things, so I like to know where stuff is placed. No, although we would have enjoyed it. It would have been fun. <laughs> I would do the, always good for comedy. Yeah, yeah. it is. Anything for, I would have looky looted and everything. Yeah. <laughs> good. I didn't realize, they were showing me these pictures, I didn't realize you started acting so young. Yeah. Um, this is, you. what is this? Where, what is this from? Oh, uh, that's the Hotel New Hampshire. It was a movie I did when I was eight. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> and then, what's this? I, I don't know why I'm not showing you. Oh, gosh. Uh, I was on the potential spinoff for The Facts of Life. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It didn't work out? No. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice little mullet you have there. I was, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I was full force with the mullet. I was uh, really, I was thinking that was going to stick around. Yeah, it, unfortunately, some, it has. It, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I went through it, I've showed it, I'm proud of it, I, and uh, I've gotten past it, but I had the mullet, I did it. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, it, it probably will come back again. I think eventually, but it, yeah. it, it really didn't uh, suit me very well. No? No. <laughs> well, you look great now, but at oh, the time thanks. it probably did. I mean... At the time, I had so many other things, uh, so many other hindrances to my personal style. I don't think the mullet really? swayed in either direction. <laughs> but you have good style now, and I love your shoes, and oh, you're thanks. all... Yeah, you're all fancy now. Because there was a story <laughs> that you actually... Uh, yeah. It's all worked out. Or yeah. did someone dress you? Do, do no, I not no. know? The, the saddest thing yeah. is that I, I, I just collect clothes. I'll get something and wear it for the next eight or nine years. I find things that, that work for me and they just not good. give them up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I buy things and I think they're good in the store and then they, I never, ever wear them. I end up wearing, I might as well wear a uniform every day. I never, <laughs> this is the only wear, place I wear clothes. Well, you I, look sharp. I, well, yes, these are all borrowed. And uh, I don't, I don't know. I just, Less closet space needed then. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So you wore, you wore tennis shoes to, a, to your prom thinking that would be cool? I did, well, you know, yeah. I, uh, and I, I picked the wrong date to do it to. I, I was, you know, kind of awkward and a little bit. I can't say I was punk, but I was, I was definitely, I was a lot like, um, you know, John Cryer in uh, Pretty in Pink. I had the whole ducky vibe going on. Uh -huh. And um, I made a, a strong play for this really prep girl who I had the hugest crush on all year. And I thought, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really bold. I'm gonna ask this girl to our prom. And uh, I did, and she said yes. And it was the greatest week leading up to it until she opened the door and there I was in my super cool tux with tails. It gets worse. Uh, <laughs> I had, I had a bolo tie. Uh -huh. Wait, what year is this, though? Uh, what year was that? I don't know, like 89, maybe? Bol Bolos were big in 89. <laughs> and, um, and, and I had uh, Converse on, Converse All-Stars. Right? And she literally looked at me, and she was, yay, it's my prom, and you've ruined it. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. She, I literally, I opened the door, and she said, are you going to wear that? I thought I was awesome. No, I and wanted to keep the shoes in the car to keep them nice. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're in shoe bags in the trunk, yeah. staying unscuffed. Oh, that's a shame. And yeah, boo-hoo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Poor we, you. Were, we were dead wrong for each other anyway, but, you know, sometimes you learn that on the fly. And was it a bad night all night long? Oh, yeah. Event? Oh, yeah. It just kept getting worse. Uh, <laughs> there, was a, there was a kid that I, that I had a lot of trouble with, and he picked a fight with me, and... I cowered in the corner. It was very sad. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the, the prom night scarred me. And then I yeah. went on to become an actor. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Um, you, I, think, I think all that, all, that, um, all that dark pathos really benefits you later in your life. If it you're certainly an actor, does. Yeah. You, I mean, it really, it really does. Yeah. I think that, unfortunately, we learn from the toughest stuff and the saddest stuff. And, you know, I, but it's hard to say that to a kid when they're getting beat up in the quarter to say, this will be good for you. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you see how you turn out because of this. Yeah. <laughs> but you were great in the Austin Powers movies. Oh, you're, thanks. You're, so, you're such a good actor. You're, um, and, and there's something else, but I'm going to wait until after the commercial to, to say this to you. I'll say something, all right. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll be right back with Seth Green. That's a clip from Party Monster, and it comes out on DVD. It's you and Macaulay Culkin, and it, you, the acting is so, so good. Oh, thanks. It's, I mean, you're really fantastic in this. So is he. It's, yeah, he's great. It's really good and, uh, and disturbing. It is, yeah. It's a, it's, a true, well, it's, a, it's a true story about the kind of the rise and fall of New York nightlife in the 90s and the, the whole Club Kid movement. I don't know if, if you guys remember, but uh, the Club Kids went on national tours, all the talk shows, and 
tried to recruit people to come to these clubs and they, they were just outrageous in the way that they dressed and a lot of theatrical costumes and it, it was just, uh, in, in my opinion, a really important uh, youth culture and just such a, an important time for all these kids because they were universally unaccepted and outcasts and uh, misfits and they, they created a place wherein they were the celebrities but they also did it um, in a way that wasn't prejudicial so they invited anyone in if they had the right attitude. Uh, you know, Wall Street bankers and, uh, and uh, you know, drag queens in, in two-foot platforms all having a good time in the same place. And it, it unfortunately got out of control as most yeah. things without limitations do. Right. Uh, it became rampant with drugs and eventually someone got murdered. And it, it, but, but it, yeah, and he's still serving time, right? He is, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, who, it, uh, that's who Macaulay plays. But it, it was such, a, such an important thing and I'm always attracted to projects like that where people are misfits and outcasts. Yeah. And, uh, Kind of find their way into something, something supportive. Well, like I said, you're, you're great. Macaulay's great. Thank um, you. And uh, I just have to. We only have a few minutes left. And and uh, one of my segment producers told me you said something that I find a little upsetting. Uh, you said that you could uh, whoop my ass in ping pong. Or I did. Like well, that. you know, now yeah, mind you, it, 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 it's an assumption. Stop it's talking. an assumption. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Are you serious? All right. Uh, I played with Alice and Janney, and we had a little. Uh, oh, you do the spin thing. Come on. That's right. Ooh. That's zero one. We're starting. Oh, wow. And uh, what kind of. Uh, uh oh. All right. Thanks. So, uh, what, uh, what are we playing for? Uh, what do you want to play to? I don't know, but don't do. Uh -uh. All right, that's two one. That's it me. is, yeah. All right. Um, we uh, right, two two. Um, My friends and I will play a lot of ping pong just because it's fun and it's. Do you have a table? I do. All right. Uh, see, I'm trying to get three two. That's me winning. And uh, what kind of? <laughs> ah, that's that's four two. Um, <laughs> Allison, we bet that she would drive naked through Beverly Hills if she. Um, oh, that's not right. Three three. Um, four three. Um, what kind of bet do you want to have? That's oh, five three. Uh, I'll give your DJ a hundred bucks. You'll give the DJ a hundred bucks? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Wait, what are you going to do? Five four. It's a net. What, what are you going to do? do? Here's the serve again. Uh, Although we're, we're not, not really like we're not really <laughs> serving. Could, server, um, yeah. What am I going to do? Uh, I don't know. I'll give him a hundred bucks. Okay, what was that? I don't know. What are we up to? Five all, five all now. And oh. six five. Six. Um, Seven. Seven. Ugh. Man. I'm trying to go for that side. You're thing. killing me, Alan. Do. Last point. Last point. Yep. That's it. <laughs> All right, Party Monster is uh, out on DVD in stores February 10th. We'll be back. We'll be playing the most difficult game on daytime television. Don't go away. Relax.